Counseling Department is joining you to share some senior year information and future planning, along with graduation requirements and some tips to help you stay on track. Our Modesto High counseling team includes six counselors, and today we'll review them. Uh, Mr. Ochoa is the academic counselor for seniors with last names beginning with uh, A through DI. Ms. Powers is the counselor for seniors with last names beginning with DJ through HE. Ms. Contreras has seniors with last names beginning with HI through PA. Mr. Perez has seniors with last names beginning with PB through RA, as well as all English learner students. Mr. Greener has seniors with last names beginning with RB through Z. And Ms. Garibay is our new college counselor this year. There are several ways to stay informed, and we encourage you to stay connected so you can stay up to date with um, what's happening on campus and with all the different events going on. So of course you can um, connect um, at the school website as well as through Schoology, um, the school Instagram page, and we especially encourage you to check out Ms. Garibay's counseling information as she has a wealth of information um, that will be pertinent to you for your senior year. Hello, Mohai 12th graders. You should have received a copy of your transcript in your School Outlook email last September. It's important that you know your graduation status and your transcript will help you to better understand if you are on track for graduation and college if that is your plan. This video will demonstrate how to read a transcript and to determine if a student is on track for graduation by meeting all of the Modesto City Schools graduation requirements. To receive a diploma of graduation from a high school, students must pass a minimum of 230 units and complete the following course of study. Here we have a typical transcript. There are three columns beginning in the upper left of the first column and then moving down and to the right. The transcript will progress from 9th up to the 12th grade. For each semester or quarter, the courses that were taken along with the grades and credits earned will be listed. If a passing score was not awarded, zero credits will be listed. Towards the end of the transcript, there is a summary of credits completed along with those still needed. There are three columns. This column shows the credits required with a total of 230 at the bottom. This column shows the credits that have been completed and this column shows the credits still needed. When the total in the deficient column reaches zero, all credits have been met. The goal is to make the deficient column go to zero and not necessarily to make the completed column go to 230, as it is possible to have credits and still not graduate. Here you can see the student has finished first, second, and third year of English. If this student passes all of their current classes, which are listed here, then they will need to take one more semester of fourth year English and economics during their senior year. Here is an example of what a transcript should look like at the end of the senior year. Following the MCS graduation requirements is a summary of grade point averages for all courses taken to date. Wrapping up the transcript is a listing of test results. If you have reviewed your own transcript and still have questions, please visit your counselor. If you are a junior going into your senior year and are planning on going to college, 
it is highly recommended that you make an appointment to meet with your college counselor. Seniors, you should currently have at least 170 credits already earned on your transcript. If you are taking six classes now, you will earn 60 credits this year towards graduation, resulting in the completion of 230 credits that you need to earn your diploma. If you have less than 170 credits, you should be enrolled in ESS classes or in zero or eighth period classes to make up for any deficits that you may have. Please reach out to your counselor if you are needing another copy of your transcript. Please note the grading period shown. The two most important ones are the end of the first and second semesters. This is because they represent the grades which go on your transcript and earn you the credits that go towards graduation. Let's talk about some things, some serious things. Let's talk about some options. People don't plan to fail, they fail to plan. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about three options of how to make up a class for graduation. It's never too late. Let's celebrate, don't hesitate. All gas and no break. Know your options. We're here to motivate so you can elevate. Option number one is called ESS, Extended Summer School. Starts at the beginning of each semester. Education is no joke like a gesture. Classes are offered Mondays and Wednesdays, Tuesdays and Thursdays from three to five. You were created for greatness, not just to better survive. Option number two, if classes are available, you can see them through early in the morning. In the zero or eight period class, might seem forever, but it's gonna go fast. Option number three, which begins in June, and you know the name, it's called summer school. No elective classes can be made up. So if you're in it, pass it the first time and keep your grades up. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And if you're off track, we got solutions for that. We can get you back on track. Option number one, Elliott Alternative Education Center. Option number two, G230 Educational Program. Computer Brace Instructional. Very technical, but very doable. In order to pass, you gotta come to class. In order to pass, you gotta show up for class. It's vital for survival. Hitting your goals brings revival. Follow the plan to the fullest and never forget. Si se puede, yes I can or I could do it. To get started, you gotta see a counselor. They're there for you because they care for you when they wanna see you through. Keep your head up. You got a whole generation depending on you, so let's go. Whether you're a straight A student or someone who is trying to improve their grades, there are some fundamental habits you need to develop and practice to get good grades. First, you got to show up every day. If you sign in and participate in everyday classes, you'll understand what's going on and you won't feel lost. Second, focus on each and every class 100%. Eliminate the distractions. Most, if not all, of your teachers are giving you plenty of time to complete your homework assignments in class so that you don't have to have homework after school and you can take care of other personal needs. Also, stay organized. For example, write out a daily homework planner. You can actually use your smartphones to do this. When absent, Check with your teacher or classmates to find out what you missed. Make up missed assignments. Most, if not all, of your teachers accept late work. So if you have missing assignments, it's not too late to make them up. Make up one assignment a day, and by the end of the semester, you'll have made up a lot, and that will make a huge difference on your grades. Monitor your grades by checking PowerSchool on a regular basis or ask your teacher. If you're lost or need help, ask for help. Ask your teacher in class or attend tutoring after school and have it. And lastly, create a study plan. The best way to prepare for a test or any performance really 
is to practice, or in other words, aka study, every day. It's important to get good grades because if you want to enroll directly into a university after high school, then you have to have at least a 3.0 GPA in the ADG requirements. The ADG requirements are the classes you have to take in each subject area to be eligible and prepared for a four-year college or university in California. Here are the requirements by subject. For subject area A, history, you need two years of social science. So for example, that would be world history and U.S. history or one year of world history and one semester of U.S. history and one semester of government or economics. For subject area B, English, four years are required. Four years of CP or higher English. For subject area C, math, you need three years of a CP level math or higher, but four years are recommended. So those three years of math would be, for instance, Algebra 1, Geometry, and then Advanced Algebra or Algebra 2. We always recommend the fourth year, such as Statistics, Pre-Calculus, or Calculus, to get you better prepared for the university level rigor of college work or to get you prepared for your intended major in college. For subject area D, laboratory science, you need two years of a lab science. One year of a physical science, such as chemistry, and one year of a life science such as CP Biology. Again, three years are recommended, however, such as Physics or an IV level chemistry class. For subject area E, Foreign Language, two years are required of the same language, but three years are recommended. So if you're going to take Spanish, you need two years of Spanish. Three years would be even better. For the next subject area, F, the visual and performing arts requirement, you need one year. One year of the same performing arts such as art, drama, photo, theater, any music class, and so forth. And then lastly, for the subject area G, the college prep elective, you need one year. So for example, that might be AVID or an extra year from the other subject areas. And again, remember, you need at least a 3.0 GPA in the ADG requirements to be eligible for admission into a four-year college. And all of these classes that you take within these subject areas need to be passed with a C or better. Here we have the senior calendar. This is a great way to keep track of what's coming up. In November, the deadline to request letters of recommendation from your counselor is November 6. November is the month to continue your application process with CSU applications due on November 30th and UC applications also due November 30th. Everyone with the exception of those going into the military should be applying online, if you haven't already, for FAFSA or the California DREAM Act to get money for college. This includes if you will be in attending junior college. Remember to check the College Counselor Zone and 411 folder in Schoology for the most up-to-date events. The events you see here were advertised on Schoology and events are updated daily or as they come up. In Schoology you will also find Scholarship folder and the schedule for virtual college admissions advisors visits. In December, you want to make sure that if you need to make changes to your schedule, you meet with your academic counselor to do so. Hopefully this is not the case, but if you failed a class, you should be enrolling in ESS. If you earned a D or an F in a required academic course, don't forget to notify your colleges. 
In January, your eligibility for senior activities like graduation and walking the stage will be determined by third quarter citizenship, and third quarter is January through March. Also remember, you only have 20 days from the beginning of the semester to make schedule changes. February, you must contact your college counselor if the schools you apply to need your mid-year transcripts to be sent to them. You should be finishing your FAFSA or California Dream Act because remember the deadlines for FAFSA and the California Dream Act are March 2nd. In March, you will be able to access the student aid report, which are the results for your FAFSA. You will be able to review your financial aid offered to you by your colleges. We highly encourage you to start checking your personal email more frequently, especially during and after March. April is the month to watch for deadlines at your colleges of choice, like for housing and financial aid. If you failed any classes, you could sign up for summer school classes that you need for graduation in April. May 1st is the deadline to accept admissions and pay your deposit. This is also a good time to contact the financial aid office to make certain your application is complete. If you have chosen to take AP exams or AP subject exams, May is when this will be happening. In summer, you will most likely be invited to attend and participate in summer orientation at the college you decided on. To learn what the college has to offer you, you should be checking your portal and personal email regularly. They will advertise class registration, campus events, and organizations or services available to you through their portals and emails. So you're getting close to the end. You're at the point where you're feeling, I need to get done with this. Common signs of burnout, lower grades, attendance concerns, you're feeling lack of motivation, loss of interest in school, you just wanna be done. You just wanna be out of here. So how can you avoid some of these senior burnout sensation? First of all, maintain a disciplined routine. Change out of those PJs. Importantly, make yourself feel like you're still in school, you're still in classes. Sit at a desk or table. Practice healthy habits. Physical activity throughout the day is important to get you motivated, to get you going. Regular sleep hours. This one is definitely important. Get those sleeping Z's in. Good nutritional habits. Importantly, don't be afraid to ask for help, either with tutoring or with counseling. And check your school email daily so you can see those activities that possibly might be coming up for you. You received your transcript and now you have questions. Am I on track? Do I need to cover anything? Do I need to redo anything? Please communicate with your counselor. All counselors are available via email, which are linked to the presentation. And you can also set an appointment by using the booking apps. The booking app will allow for you to make an appointment with your specific counselor at a certain date at a certain time. This way you can review exactly what is on your transcript if you have a question, if you're not sure what it is that you need to still fulfill or finish out. Mr. Ochoa, A through DI. Ms. Powers, DJ through HE. Ms. Contreras, HI through PA. Mr. Perez, PB through RA and DL. Mr. Greener, RB through Z. We hope you have a great finale for your senior year and please make those appointments with your counselors as soon as possible so we can start reviewing. Thank you, seniors.